I've been recently asked about this new ability to search your connections connections. So let me show you how to do that. The first thing is you need to find a connection that you know, like, and trust. And I'm just going to go ahead and uh, jump on my friend and mentor Neil Schaefer's profile. And you need to check and see if that individual has the blue connections link. Well, you have to check and see if that uh, number of connections is in blue. If it's in black, this isn't going to work. But if it's in blue, it means that you are able to see and search through their connections. So the first thing you're going to do is either just click on the number 500 or scroll down into their profile to the connection section. By the way, they have to have the new user interface in order to do this. The second thing you're going to do is click on this little magnifying glass, that's the search box of course, and type in the type of person you are looking for. So if you are looking for a graphic designer, then all you do is click that in the search box, hit enter, and let LinkedIn come up with the results for you. Now it's going to start with first level connections, which is great because that means you can just simply send that individual a message. In fact, when you scroll over and hold your cursor over their picture, you'll notice that their, their name, their uh, professional headline pops up, but more importantly, the ability to easily send them a message. Or maybe you just want to view their profile first before you send them a message. The other thing that you can do, of course, is if you don't find the individual you're looking for, continue looking amongst all those individuals by just clicking on next, next, next. Now, if for some reason you're not getting the results you want, you come over here and click on advanced search. And this is gonna take you basically to the advanced search that you would find up here but notice it's still via the connections of, in this case, Neil. And so now I can search for most, more specific locations. So if I was looking for graphic designers, but I was looking for them in my local area, oh, I guess we have to do it by state. So then I could start typing in the area I was looking for and then LinkedIn will do a location search for me as well. Um, apparently there are no, <laughs> I know there are graphic designers in Fort Collins, Colorado, but maybe they're not connected to Neil. Um, there are 10 in Los Angeles, Canada, United States. So you can see that you can get uh, results there. Always test these things out before recording your video. Uh, you can, of course, uh, search through industry, companies, schools, and languages as well. So this is a particularly helpful um, and not overly advertised uh, part of LinkedIn's new user interface. And I got to tell you, I'm just a huge, huge fan of this. I think it's absolutely powerful. Um, I now recommend getting, in fact, the uh, paid account, the basic paid account, because the other thing you can do is when you find someone, I can just send a quick message to, to Neil and say, hey, um, I'm really interested in talking to Stan Relihan, who's also awesome, by the way. Um, would you mind uh, forwarding a, a, an invitation to him or forwarding a message to him or an introduction to him? not invitation, but an introduction to him, if Stan and I weren't already first level connections. And so you can see if the person is willing to send an introduction before you actually end up spending <laughs> one of your limited introductions. Again, you get five introductions with the free account, you get 15 introductions with the basic paid account. So that is how you use LinkedIn to look for connections, connections. Thanks and have a happy new year. Bye everyone.